welcome starting with very basic and important question what is the purpose of air flow visualization in clean room the purpose of air flow visualization in clean rooms is to confirm unidirectional air flow and absence of turbulence in critical zones reference guideline iso 14644-3 in which state air flow visualization test shall be performed the air flow direction test can be conducted in the at rest state to determine the basic clean room air flow patterns and can be repeated in the operational state simulating actual operations reference guideline iso 14644 how do you conduct an air flow visualization study step 1 list the activities of the study in a protocol step 2 describe the responsibilities for execution and review step 3 report all necessary materials equipment and acceptance criteria step 4 Perform and record the results of the study in a report. Step 5. If acceptance criteria are not met, investigate the root cause and define a corrective action plan. Which materials are typically used for air flow visualization? First, fog machines with water based solutions. In this, distilled water mixed with glycols or glycerin to produce uniform smoke. This method is safe and widely used in pharmaceutical environments. Other materials include glycerin and propylene glycol mixtures, titanium tetrachloride, zinc chloride smoke generators and diethylene glycol. How often should air flow visualization studies be performed? Air flow visualization studies can be performed during initial qualification, periodically as a part of requalification and after major modification in the line based on risk assessment. Reference guideline UGMP Annex 1. What are the basic requirements for video footages? Each video sequence should have a title page, company name, date, test number and title, room and equipment number. Video footages should be stored on a secure location drive with backup. What is ideal airflow direction? Airflow should move towards potential sources of contamination and away from the product path. That is, filtered air should not flow over personnel and then over the product path. There should be no dead zone. What are the at rest and dynamic conditions for air flow visualization study? First, at rest condition. This condition captures air flow without the effect of personal or manufacturing. Second is dynamic condition. These conditions focus on effects of moving production equipment and components and human intervention. What is expected air flow direction in clean rooms? The air should sweep down the room in a unidirectional way at a velocity generally between 0.3 m per second to 0.5 m per second. It then exits through the floor, removing the airborne contamination from the room. Why is laminar airflow important in critical areas? Laminar airflow prevents contamination by maintaining a continuous flow of clean air. Reference guideline WHO GMP 2020. What is the standard air velocity for laminar airflow in pharmaceutical areas? Air velocity should typically range between 0.36 to 0.54 m per second at the working level. The recommended air flow velocity for clean room is 0.45 m per second or 90 feet per minute with a tolerance of 20%. However, other velocities may be more suitable for particular clean rooms. Reference guideline UGMP Annex 1. How smoke injection shall be done during air flow visualization study? Smoke should be injected perpendicular to the air flow to accurately visualize the air pattern. Very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for air flow visualization study in the pharmaceutical industry? First, WHO's TRS that is Technical Report Series number 961, ISO 14644, UGMP guidelines, USFDS guidance for industry and PICS guide are the guidelines that are commonly referred for air flow visualization study in pharma industry. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.